What's going on people? So moments ago I was recording this pro wrestling crate video and whatnot. And at the end I said something about having some wrestling figures to open up or whatever. So this is that video that I was talking about, right? So maybe you saw that one, maybe you didn't. You know, whatever. It doesn't much matter. But I'm gonna go open this stuff and see what's on side here because this is what really does matter, at least to me. You know, maybe you got the same thing. You can kind of see on the side what this is. Because when you get these little boxes from these box sets or whatever, from Ringside Collectibles, they tend to li leave the late labels on there and whatnot, so that way you can kind of see what it is, right? So if you ever order like multiple things, you don't have to open them to figure it out, I guess. You could also use the tracking numbers, but whatever. Who wants to do that, right? You just want to make it easy. So this is, what is this? AW Unrivaled Series 8. Series 8. Seems like it was not that long ago that they were putting those things up initially, you know? And man, like they have been moving through these, especially with the unmatched, but whatever. Up first, we have Trent. So there's that, right? Let's flip this thing on around, let you see the back inside there. So that's what's going on over there if you're curious or whatever. So yeah, not, not bad. Kind of like the layout of like what he's wearing and all that stuff. So seems kind of cool. I, I might, I might do another video later and like actually open these things up and you know give you the close-ups, but for now we're not doing that. So there you go. This is Chris Statlander, right? So flipping that thing around so you can see the back inside, you know, because that way you can see like where the picture comes from or like what the inspiration is and all that crap, you know, like what pay-per-view or what episode of Dynamite it may have been. Actually, hold on, let me look at this again real quick. Yeah, this is this is a very busy figure. Very busy. I mean, it's cool though, you know, I'm just saying it's a lot. And in some ways it reminds, makes me think of Lita. Never really put that connection together before. And now we have another Orange Cassidy, right? So there's that. And flipping this thing around so you can catch the backside and all that good stuff, you know. But yeah, this one looks like it just has a different shirt but otherwise may be exactly the same. So yeah, a little, little lazy there, you know, some of that lazy booking as they say, but it's one of those things, you know, if you missed it earlier, you can catch it on the, you know, the second wave or something. Though these things are doing a lot better staying in stock. So we got us another John Moxley. This is the third one that I have. Actually, you know what? It's the fourth one because you may remember me doing that, the two pack unboxing a while ago or whatever. So. I like this one more than that one, or those two, or I should say. You know, the ones in the camo pants or whatever. You can't see them, but I can't, so just trust me, they're over there. And we've got two more of these things to open up here. So you got Chris Jericho, the Pain Maker Edition, or whatever you want to call it, right? So that thing he was doing in New Japan, backside, of course. So that's an interesting look. It's, I'm not sure what he was going for, but it's, I mean, it looks better on the figure than it does in real life, but, cause it just seems weird in real life, especially once like the end of the match comes up and he's like all tired and sweaty and it's just like a mess. But this figure itself looks pretty decent in my eyes, so that's cool. And then last but certainly not least, we have Chuck Taylor, right? So there's that. And looking at the back of this, right, they got one of the guys from the hybrid too. So, I kind of wonder what's going on with him. I mean, I know a lot of contracts and whatever seem to be expiring soon. That's like the word on the streets with the AEW. So I'm wondering if they're in that group and maybe they're just kind of being pushed to the side so that they can just kind of, you know, ride out the last days of their contract. But I like them, you know? It's a shame they weren't like used a whole lot. I mean, they are on TV regularly. I'm just saying they weren't really going much of anywhere. Which is unfortunate. And what is this? What, what is this? Oh, right, right, okay, yeah. This is the Elite Series 92. So we got some WWE figures going on over here. So this should be the whole set. I'm gonna kick things off with Rey Mysterio, right? So that's cool. That's kind of a nice little color he's got. This orange and black, I do like that. I've never been like a huge Mysterio guy past like, you know, the days of Nitro or whatever. But, I mean, nothing against him, you know, he's been doing well for himself over the years. I just never really paid much attention to him after, like, 
all his things with like Ubuntude and and like Jericho stopped, you know, because they the cruiserweight division kind of became a thing of the past. Whatever. This, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I'll have to get like a better look at it later. But this is the Fiend, Bray Wyatt, all crispy and cooked and whatnot. So you can check out the backside and whatnot. But yeah, this figure overall. It seems like they did an all right job, like in the face and whatnot, but the figure itself, overall, I don't know. It just seems like it was not well done, other than you know the, the visual, because he's definitely like well done as far as cut goes. But you know, it's it just doesn't. It looks like there was room for improvement. That's the long story short. And for whatever reason, Adam Cole's hand has fallen down. So this. I'm going to assume will be the last Adam Cole figure that they make in the WWE universe. And so there you go, there's that, right? So that's cool though. I mean, they kind of like these boxes in a way, but yeah, it's not a bad figure, but I think I might prefer, where is that? I don't even know where it is anymore. I thought it was right up there, but that's just Seth Rollins. I kind of think I like the last one that I picked up, which was from the Fan Takeover series more than that one. But, you know, without seeing them side by side, I'm not going to really commit to that. And then we have Charlotte, who comes with the Women's Championship. Is that what that thing looks like? It looks terrible. Either way, there's a belt in there, right? Looks like it's maybe one of those tag belts or something, because I feel like the actual women's title is bigger. Yeah, okay, I couldn't see it, but it does say tag team up there, so... There's that from whenever she was tag champs with uh, Asuka, right? That's who that was. So this is my first ever Charlotte figure. I only have it because I bought the whole set. And there's the backside in case I haven't shown you that yet already. But yeah, I got nothing against Charlotte as far as like performance goes. But I will say, you know, and not trying to body shame people, but something about her face is a little distracting because like she has some kind of work done. And I, whenever they zoom in on her, I'm always like, something's different here, but what is it? You know? So it's like, it's weird to me. And moving along. So this figure looks a lot better than it did in the pictures, which doesn't say much, because the, the pictures of this here, the Scarlet figure initially, Jesus Christ, it looked awful. But this one looks like mildly normal. And that's, and when you look at that, like, on the backside, seeing what they used as the inspiration, I might have to go back and see this in action because I don't remember it, and it looks freaking weird. And it doesn't really say, it just says from Chicago, Illinois. So, I don't know, I, it's, did they have an event in Chicago, or was that just like a normal thing? Because that looks like it's not, wasn't just a normal thing. And she's got that little lantern thing in there, so you know, that's cool. A little Bray Wyatt kind of action going on. And finishing things off, we got Ric Flair. So there's that for you, right? So I assume he's pretty much just wearing some plain stuff under there because that's what it makes it look like on the back and all, all that stuff. But he's got his nice little four horseman shirt. He's got the little four finger thing going on. So, and this is young Ric, more or less, which is, yeah, God, that dude's so old. You know, like young Ric was so long ago. All right. So, there's some stuff that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and open this package up. This package comes from some like little shop that sells wrestling figures online. I don't remember the name of it, but once I look at the front of this, I'll have to like, point that out. Wrestling Collector Shop. So, yes, there you go. I saw someone on Instagram say, hey, they've got some random stuff in stock. And I was like, okay, cool. I, I like to check out random stuff. So, I bought these, and as you can see, they are loose. I forget which Elite series they're from, but I think it was like in the, maybe like the 50s or 40s or something. So, you got Enzo, of course, and then Big Cass, right? Because I saw these, and I was like, man, like, you can't not get these. You know what I'm saying? So, I did get these, obviously, because they're here in my hands. So, that's pretty cool. I'll put them over here in the tag team section. Once again, you can't see it, but behind you, behind this phone, there's a bunch of tag teams just kind of hanging out on my little TV stand. Now this, as some of you may recognize, comes from Ringside, excuse me, from Pro Wrestling Tees. So, let's see what's going on in here. It's either going to be some tank tops or t-shirts, I would assume. 
unless it's some random thing or something. So, what is this? Oh, okay, yeah. There was a pre-order from some, for some new CM Punk shirt or whatever some time ago, and uh, I did a lot of impulse buying, okay? So, that's where that came from. Now, let's see what's going on in this one. Get this thing cut open here. Try to be careful and not cut the shirt because that'd be like terrible. You know what I'm saying? I pay good money for these. Plus like a couple dollars because I always get the soft style ones because the soft style ones are so much better. I think someone asked me like what the, why I like those more. It's like, because they're soft. Like, they're, they're, they, what kind of question is that? But um, anyway, so moving along, what is this? Oh, okay, cool. So there's a shirt. It's a red velvet tank top, right? As you can tell by the lack of sleeves. So I, I saw this and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this because I like red velvet and that to me was the best shirt she had on her little section of the store. I think I saw her when I was at the Pancake House in Charlotte recently. I mean, it could have not been her, but it looked a lot like her. So I don't know, maybe one day I'll get an answer to that. I was down in Charlotte for, not fight for, well that I wasn't, there for Fight for the Fallen. What was the recent thing? Battle of the Belts. That's what it was. And moving along, we have one more here. This is, oh, what do you know? It's a Hybrid 2 shirt. I was just talking about these guys moments ago. So there's that. Now, moving right along, moving right along. These come from Target, which you can kind of see maybe. Yeah. So these should be the new, like, Legends wave of figures, you know? Because that's really... For the most part, that's, I think, the only thing I really get from Target, usually. But, let's see. And it is. I saw these, and see, like, this right here. Kind of unacceptable, right? Because you can't even see what's going on in there for the most part. But it is a Hurricane figure. And I saw these at the local Target yesterday, and I was almost going to buy them right there on the spot. But I was like, no, nah, I already ordered them. They're on the way. They'll be here soon. But now... I kind of wish I had in some ways, but I'm going to open these anyway, so this doesn't matter. It only bothers me right now because, like, you know, it's going to make it a little more tricky to get pictures because i got to actually open it now or something. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just show it like that. You'll know what happens when you see this video. So, now we got one more of these boxes, and I'm sure it'll have a big old sticker in the way, too, which I kind of assumed was going to happen because... Yeah, Target, I don't think they really care about stuff like that. They're just trying to get you whatever you bought. They probably assume this just goes to, like, children, which is which is fair. And so here we have Jake the Snake Roberts, right? So that's pretty cool. I do like Jake the Snake. I was hoping that maybe I'd get the chase or something, but, you know, it didn't happen. So what can you do? And then on the back, if you want that little glimpse there, I am going to get this Triple H at some point. I think it shipped recently, too. I don't know. But I'll figure that out later. I didn't really want it necessarily, but the thing is, that is from the night when like Nitro and Raw were in the same city. Well, not the same city, it was like Hampton and Norfolk, but very close, like 20 minutes away. And they did the little invasion thing. So, you know, the, what is it, like the Hampton Coliseum was like right over there and the scope is right over there. So it's kind of like one of those, oh, hey, that was like where I was living at the time. So that's cool. And I'm actually living now. Either way, that's unnecessary. But what is necessary is ending this video because it's over. So, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I will, I'm not sure when I'll get this video out because getting these pictures together is going to make things a little tricky in some ways. Or at least time consuming. But that pro wrestling crate, one will, that one will probably be out pretty soon. So, either way. Later, people.